Hi everybody, welcome to Chaz's Lifestyle. In today's episode, I will be showing you how I make this creamy, delicious, flavorful Cajun chicken and sausage bow tie pasta. Let's get started. I will be using this style pasta. This is a linen flavored pasta. Oh, I fell in love with it. In a mixing bowl, I will add all my seasonings together. I have Cajun seasoning, a little chili pepper and sazon, some onion powder, garlic powder, and a dash of pepper, seasoned to taste. Now, you want to make sure you use a good amount of seasoning. When we're working with heavy cream, you want to make sure it's seasoned to perfection. Okay, so I have two chicken breasts that I went ahead and diced into big chunks you can leave it whole if you like it's up to you and slice it towards the end I'm adding a little olive oil give that a good mix now with the seasoning mix we created I will add about two to three tablespoons of that seasoning mix and once I add all of that I'm going to give that a very good toss and make sure that all the seasoning is coated on the chicken breast and let that marinate while we move on to the next step in boiling water I'm going to go ahead and Boil my pasta. I'm not adding any oil because I want that sauce to really stick in the pasta very well. In a preheated pan or medium heat, I went ahead and sauteed some turkey sausage. You can use Cajun sausage or a sausage you prefer, but this is what we like in my household. So I went ahead and substituted Cajun sausage for turkey sausage. After about a minute, I added some diced onions to give it a little bit more flavor, okay? So we're gonna cook that until those onions are pretty caramelized to our liking, about three to four minutes. Once that is up, we go ahead and give that a very good toss. You just wanna ensure everything is cooked to perfection. You want that sausage to have a brown sear on it. And then we're gonna remove it from the pan. Now in a preheated pan, I'm gonna go ahead and sear my chicken. You can see I switched pans. So I'm going to sear my chicken until it's fully cooked. I'll sear it for about five to six minutes on each side. And as you can see, as we're flipping it over, it has a beautiful brown sear to it. Now I did show y'all my pasta. It was pretty much done. I went ahead and drained it, covered it, put it to the side until we're ready to use it. So that step is out the way. So I'm going to go ahead and continue to flip my chicken breast over and let that cook for another four to five minutes. Like I said, people, until it's fully cooked. So my heat is on like a medium heat. Once the chicken breasts are cooked to perfection, go ahead and remove that from the pan. Now you want to keep a little bit of that oil in the pan just to give that sauce some flavor. I went ahead and added my heavy cream to that skillet while it was still hot. And we're gonna add those remaining seasonings to the sauce. Now, sometimes you can add spinach, you can add different vegetables like asparagus, bell peppers, anything you really want to spice up your pasta. But since we're going with that classic Cajun bow tie pasta, I just added a little parsley towards the end. Once my sauce heated up for about five minutes, I went ahead and turned off my heat and added some freshly shredded cheese. Now, I am using mozzarella cheese, you can use Parmesan cheese that's shredded or shaved, anything of that sort. Hit it with a little bit of crushed black pepper and parsley for a little color and flavor. Mix that very well. Let that sauce thicken up slightly. Once the sauce is pretty thickened, go ahead and add those bow tie pasta. Now, as we let the pasta sit, the sauce will continue to thicken up. Okay, so give that a very good mix and just enjoy how beautiful that looks. Mm, mm, mm. Once we mix all that in, add the meat back in. We have the sausage and onions, the chicken. Give that a very good toss. Now, I went ahead and took a little bit of sauce out and put it to the side before I added my pasta, just to give it a little razzle-dazzle towards the end. Oh yes, that does make a difference, y'all. If you enjoyed this recipe, be sure to give me a like, comment your favorite part, or, or any other recipe you'd like to see next. And subscribe if you aren't a part of this lifestyle. If you decide to make this recipe, be sure to tag me on Instagram at Chaz's Cuisine Story. See y'all next time.